Hey guys, what is up? Today we're gonna be doing an unboxing of Bite the Bullet, the limited edition for the PlayStation 4. We're gonna open it up, check out the contents, and then do a little bit of gameplay, check it out. And I am so excited about games today because I also got this Unmetal for the PlayStation Vita. I am so excited to try that one out too. So I'll be getting to that eventually. We're gonna unbox that and check it out. The gameplay is hilarious and fun. I can't wait to get to that. It's gonna be a real treat. And then also, we got great news. Two more physical Vita games uh, going up for pre-order on May 13th. You won't wanna miss these ones. Takotan, which is a shoot 'em up That's gonna be limited to 1,200 copies. And we're gonna be getting Astro Aqua Kitty limited to 1,500 copies. I told you guys, I, I suspected that this one was gonna be a physical edition in the works, and sure enough, here it is. So be sure to order those from PlayAsia May 13th if you're interested. I really don't see those lasting too long. And now, without further ado, let's dig in. So this PlayStation 4 version of Bite the Bullet had a release of 1,500 standard copies and then 700 of these limited editions. It was also released for the Nintendo Switch as a standard and limited edition as well. All right, so this just has a slip cover. Here's the, what the slip cover looks like. And here's the box. This is a nice hard box. This is a really sturdy box. So that's always really nice to see. I love when they include a nice sturdy limited edition box. And then I believe, yes, this has got a magnetic clasp too. So really nice limited edition box here. I love that. And it looks like we have a hardcover compendium. This isn't just a run and gun, this is a run, gun, and eat roguelite. It's always nice to have a book for a roguelite that shows all of the bosses, enemies, weapons, and power-ups. So here we have a little bit of information on the world setting. Main characters. So yeah, this is this game has got a lot of eating. So when you finish your enemies, you can choose to just destroy them or eat them. <laughs> and everything has got like a calorie value. There's so many different things that you can eat or consume, and they've got different effects for eating them. And of course you can eat too much and puke. There's a skill tree that allows you to, you know, kind of buff your character's eating ability or make food give you certain status effects. Here are levels. It shows you a little bit of information about each of the levels. And I love the theme of this compendium too, with that sort of like retro futuristic look. Bosses, oh my goodness, look at these bosses. They are ridiculous looking. So yeah, this is a run and gun type game that's also a roguelite. And yeah, there's a lot of food and eating elements to it too. This is one of those I feel like has a lot of gameplay variety here. A lot of different things you can do in this game. Bandanas, I guess the different bandanas give you different uh, power-ups. Oh, we got rotten and infected enemies. Probably don't want to eat those. What? There's recipes in here too. There's a whole cooking section with recipes. Grilled cheese pear and turkey sandwich. You know, I've recently been doctoring up my grilled cheese sandwiches and I, you know, this could be good. It sounds weird at first, but Man, I like to put hot mustard on my grilled cheese sandwiches. Now, those are so good. Homemade cheese Whiz. Cream cheese shrimp rolls. Banana bread, oh God, I love banana bread. And we got a drink recipe in here too.
film. All right. All right, well that is pretty cool. So there's our hardcover compendium. Let's see what we got next. Ooh, this has got like a, this, for some reason this book smells like fresh electronics. I have no idea why it would, but it totally, it smells like electronics. All right, in here we also have a sticker sheet. I probably won't use any of these, but it is super cool. Oh, yeah, these stickers smell too. Got a really interesting smell to them. Oh, are these standees? These look like standees. All right, so we do have the stands for the standees. And these just kind of slide right into that. The two main characters. Um, let's see, what is this? Oh, this is a poster. It's just a single-sided poster. Well, check that out. <laughs> Run, gun, eat, bite the bullet. You get the chunky versions of the two main characters in the background. All right, what is this? These look like art cards. All right, so the, yeah, I guess these are just the different bosses, art cards for the different bosses. I mean, we kind of have the artwork in the compendium too, though, but cool. And next we have a soundtrack. It looks like we have 27 tracks on here. And this is just a single page insert, it's not a fold out, and the disc. And finally we have the PlayStation 4 game, Bite the Bullet. Bite the Bullet is the world's first run and gun and eat. And then interestingly down in the corner I've got a little number, it says CE 754 out of 999. So I'm not sure if I got the right information on this but from the website it looked like it said it was the limited edition was limited to 700 units and then the standard edition was limited to 1500 units so not sure what this numbering is here um, I don't know if this is the wrong sticker but it's kind of interesting I don't exactly understand what that means inside we don't have a manual or anything just some warnings in here but uh, let's check the game out so yeah, Bite the Bullet is a side-scrolling run-and-gun game, but when the enemy's health is low, you'll have the option of eating them. The story takes place in the near future. Economic collapse caused by underpopulation and pollution lead to food shortages and starvation. Temporary reprieve was granted through human implants that allow us to consume any substance, whether organic or inorganic. What could possibly go wrong there, right? Well, over time, these implants mutated across the human populace, a process known as ghoulification. Faced with a dying society, many humans fled to the stars, while many others stayed behind. Some because they were forced to, others out of choice. Mutated by long-time exposure to the abnormalities, these ghouls eke out a merciless existence on a blasted Earth. Decades later, biological corporation Darwin Corp has made a name for itself by collecting genetic material from across the galaxy for preservation, research, and competitive advantage. You'll play as one or both of the mercenaries Chewie and Chewella in either single player or co-op. Darwin Corp often recruits these mercenaries to destroy or consume any specimens that do not comply with requests to be cataloged in the genetic compendium. Each enemy has different nutrient content, so you want to keep an eye on your fat or protein intake. If you consume a lot of fat, then you'll need to balance that out with a lot of running and jumping. With enough food intake, you'll also have the ability to enter Zombro mode, which is a berserking frenzy allowing you to deal massive damage. 
as you progress, you'll earn XP, level up, and these special glands in your gullet will allow you to gut craft desired abilities in a very robust skill tree. The levels are pretty lengthy with lots of checkpoints. Fortunately, they are filled with a multitude of challenges to complete and branching paths to explore. At the end of each level will be one of the many grotesque looking bosses we just looked at from the compendium. Unfortunately, the game isn't super polished. I noticed text running out of boundaries in a few areas and some very unappealing looking fonts. But the game doesn't feel cheap either. There is certainly a lot to it and some of the sprite art looks really good. The game just isn't as fluid and pleasant looking as it could be. Overall, I still think it's an enjoyable experience and certainly a unique one. I'm looking forward to getting further into the game and seeing how it holds up long term. But yeah guys, that is Bite the Bullet, the limited edition from Strictly Limited Games. You can also pick the game up digitally on Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, and PC. MSRP is 15 US dollars. Thanks for watching guys. I'm gonna be checking out Unmetal soon, which I'm so excited for. So stay tuned for much more. Until next time, see you later.